Michael, beaten, bedraggled, whatever you want to call it, and it's only the second day of Oshkosh 2017, but at the same time, lots and lots and lots of news. But the bang-up news coming up uh, Sunday morning was Dynon certified. Da, 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 da. What's that mean? So, of course, uh, last year we you know, blazed a trail with EAA with the STC on our EFIS D10A and, and D100, our 4-inch and 7-inch uh, primary flight display. And, and, of course, people have been asking us for years um, to certify anything and then, you know, last year at Sun and Fun in Oshkosh, the new question became, when are you going to certify the rest of this? I want what home builders have been putting in their airplanes. And so that's what we're announcing here. Dynon Certified is our new line of certified avionics, affordable avionics for type certificated aircraft, led by our flagship Skyview HDX system. How long has this been in the making overall? We basically, in the wake of the EASTC, got working right away. We made some great relationships with the right people in the FAA. We realized that attitudes in the FAA have been changing as well, and so we have some great partners there. So it's been in the works you know, since last year. So what's available now? Where can it go? And more important, how much? So we are on the cusp of getting our STCs for both the Cessna 172 and the Beechcraft B-58 Baron. It is a complete integrated avionics system. So that includes primary flight instruments, engine instruments, mapping and flight planning, ADSB in and out, Modesh transponder, and even autopilot. We expect to be able to install an aircraft later this year. The equipment that we have in the Cessna 172 is about $16,000 worth of kit, and that includes all of the features and functions I just mentioned. And we expect that installation will be able to be done a lot quicker than in conventional upgrades because we have the system that's already tuned for quick installation by home builders. We hope that we can get installations like we have in the Cessna 172 in the low 20,000s installed. What airplanes are targeted next, and will we see a full AML on this? We're actually starting technically with an AML STC. It'll only have a small amount of airplanes on them at the beginning. We'll be expanding continuously, similar to what we did with the EFIS D10A. People can go to dynon.aero slash certified, click the request updates link, tell us about your aircraft. Of course, we'll be prioritizing aircraft by popularity and what's available. And of course, we hope to get just a really broad AML really quickly. How much has changed overall between what we've come to expect from what you've done with the experimental market, which was frankly, the envy of the GA market, and what we're going to be putting into GA aircraft in the future. In terms of the Dynon Certified line, what we're actually doing is leveraging what we've crafted in our home-built market. So they will be separate parts and products that are PMA'd, but they will be fundamentally the same flagship systems that we're already selling. Where does this go from here? So, of course, there are lots of other areas of innovation in the panel. You know, we do basically almost everything in the panel. There are other things that we'd love to get to in the future and just reaching more aircraft and more pilots and enhancing safety with modern technology. We were founded to bring affordable avionics to aircraft and we've succeeded in the experimental light sport aircraft and we think that there's um, you know, a need in the market, especially in light GA, uh, for that attitude uh, to, to come to type certificated aircraft. Are you seeing any hesitance at all now that you're talking to GA flyers about this technology, being able to depend on it, being able to run around, fly IFR in it, being able to know it's going to get you from point A to point B. A really big subset of our customers are already flying IFR in home builds, and so there's, from what I can detect, no trepidation at all. You know, many of the people that come up to our booth, even before now, have been you know type certificated pilots that are saying, "Oh, my friend has an RV. Uh, my friend has a light sport aircraft. I've flown with him, and I want to you know have that reduced workload. I want to have the situational awareness. I want to have autopilot that works." And so that's what we're bringing to uh, the type certificated market. Michael Schofield, Dynon Avionics. We thank you for your time and congratulations. Job well done, guys. Yeah, thanks so much, Jim. Aero TV is brought to you by. When the forecast is wrong, ForeFlight and Stratus give you the tools you need to take action when the weather takes an unexpected turn. ForeFlight, the app pilots depend on. Triggs TT22 Transponder is the ideal ADS-B out solution where panel space is tight. It's lightweight, highly compact, and 2020 compliant. It comes with a free FAA ADS-B STC that covers 576 aircraft types. You can even use your existing GNS or GTN navigator. Save money and space by contacting your approved Trig dealer now. www.trig-avionics.com